Um, you know, we have been working for the past several years on uh, reducing avoidable hospitalizations. And, you know, everyone here has an elderly loved one or a nona they care for or knows someone that does. And uh, for several years, my grandmother was in and out of the ER due to falls, urinary tract infections, and spent a significant amount of time in the hospital rehab center when she suffered a stroke. And it was similar experiences that some of my team members, uh, in addition to myself, uh, encountered as well. And it was these experiences that really inspired everyone on my team to go forward and, and um, uh, uh, create Nordatech. And with that being said, uh, so we created a platform that is using, that's actually using machine learning to detect deteriorating health conditions uh, before patients, uh, before uh, symptoms appear in the actual patient. So next slide, please. The U.S. spends over $30 billion a year on potentially avoidable hospital admissions. There are over 130 million people in the U.S. alone with a chronic health condition, and nearly 50 million uh, seniors in the U.S. alone. Hospitalizations, especially among older adults, can occur for a variety of reasons, such as poor quality of sleep, exacerbation of a uh, chronic illness like uh, Alzheimer's, acute illness such as a urinary tract infection. And right now, 20% of all seniors are back in the hospital within 30 days of being discharged. Next slide. Um, many people predict that in the near future, AI will help prevent infections, heart attacks, strokes, uh, identify health issues uh, before patients, oh, before patients um, uh, become symptomatic. Next slide, please. Well, the future is a lot closer than many would have predicted with what we're doing at Nonatech. Uh, we create a platform that improves health outcomes and creates a pathway to early interventions cost containment, and identifies health issues at a very early stage. And as you can see, we make it very easy uh, for clinicians to identify which of their members, patients, loved ones are in need of a early intervention or, and are at risk of a potential emergency event. Next slide, please. So um, our platform is passively collecting patient data from unobtrusive sensors, and that data is run through our health deterioration model continuously, looking for patterns predictive of hospitalizations. Um, and many of the sensors that are being used, some of, them, some of the sensors we've created, however, um, we're unique that we are, our platform is device agnostic, so any Z-Wave, Zigbee, Bluetooth device will work in our platform. But that being said, we've created some of our own sensors, but it's really about our software and our machine learning. Next slide. And we have the data to back up to show how we're saving lives and keeping folks out of the hospital. Um, so these are some of the case studies uh, that I could share with you. We're actually, um, uh, w one of the uh, pilots we had was, uh, we were one of the only companies to work with Smart America, um, a, um, uh, part, a team that was put together by White House Presidential Innovation Fellows and NIST, uh, in addition to uh, being a pilot health tech winner. Uh, a couple years ago, uh, approved for over $250,000 budget with a health plan um, and a uh, senior living community. And our results were able to show 35% reduction in ER visits, uh, 10x ROI savings of over $600 uh, per patient per month. Next slide, please. We have a simple business model, $89 per user per month. That includes full access to our software, off-site call center, um, and we also are able to include uh, on average, about four additional sensors as well. Next slide. Uh, we have, uh, with our new beta product, because we've been using machine learning for about the last uh, year and a half and building our data sets and uh, building our own models. Uh, I think right now we want claims to use machine learning, but with machine learning, you need a lot of data. And we're approaching, uh, by the end of the year, over 500,000 patient hours, allowing us to build even more sophisticated models. And these are some of our clients, some of our quotes. Um, Next slide, please. Thank you. Now, without Nonatech, a lot of uh, clinicians um, don't effectively, are, aren't effectively able to go ahead and monitor uh, their patients, relying on wearable sensors, self-reported data, and other non-invasive methods. Um, you know, with 
with some of our competitors, participation rate is as low as 15%. However, with Normatec, because the way we go ahead and collect our patient data passively, it's over 90%. So your software could be great, but if no one's using it, what good is it? Next slide. We have a great team in addition to myself, uh, 15 years of experience and operating several senior healthcare businesses. Um, uh, we have a uh, our chief medical officer, was the CMO of uh, one of the nation's largest health plans, Meridian Health. Uh, tech leadership, over 40 years of experience. Um, started numerous companies, numerous exits, and our advisory team includes uh, Keith, who's a um, local guy, the uh, former president of uh, Phelps Memorial. Next slide. And sorry, real quick, uh, we uh, were part of, uh, we recently raised a finance round. Our investors include 500 startups, uh, raised over 350,000, currently raising a large C round, and welcome everybody um, after this pitch. Thank you again.